What's happening guys? It's your boy Matt Ogus. And uh, today in this video, since it's been a really long time, I'm gonna hit you guys with a bunch of new updates and announcements that should get you guys up to date. So between each update, I'm gonna post uh, extra size clip of me hitting a set for my latest uh, chest, uh, back, shoulders, basically full upper body workout. So let's get started. All right guys, so announcement number one, and this applies mostly to my, uh, my British audience. So everyone out in the UK, a lot of the people over there have been wondering, am I going to the Body Power Expo this year? For those in America you don't know, uh, Body Power Expo is the biggest expo in the United Kingdom. Uh, the answer is yes, I am going. Uh, I'm very excited because I did not go last year. The dates for the Body Power Expo are, I believe, May 12th, 13th, and 14th. Uh, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and I believe it's in Birmingham, United Kingdom. So uh, I'm looking forward to seeing everyone that I usually see that I've seen 2013, 14, and 15. Uh, all of you guys, I'm looking forward to seeing you guys again. And everyone else that I haven't met yet who's going to be going, can't wait to meet you as well. All right, guys. So training has been going really, 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 really good lately. Uh, for a little while, I was having some issues. I still have some, but everything is just getting better and better. Uh, my lower back on my left side, um, my right elbow definitely getting better. It's going through a little right knee issue, a little left hip flexor issue, and both of those are getting better over time as well. Uh, so here's what the current bench press looks like, guys. This is 250 for the first set, uh, four sets of eight right here. And check my Instagram, I actually compared my 2011 to my 2017 bench. All right guys, update number two, and this is something I've been kind of keeping under the wraps. Uh, it's mostly just me working behind the scenes. Um, it's not something that I can kind of release slowly. It's something that I have to completely finish and then just put it out there. And that's my fat loss program. I've been working on this for quite a while now. Super excited and stoked about uh, delivering this to you. So let me look at my calendar real quick. And actually, if you guys are interested this summer in leaning down, which I am definitely looking forward to doing, so I'm definitely looking, and you may believe, believe this or not, I'm actually looking to uh, drop anywhere between five to 10 pounds uh, starting May. Starting actually, most likely May 15th, May 22nd or so, is when I'm gonna start this, this actual cut for myself. Not to compete, but just to drop five to 10 pounds for summertime. So if you guys wanna join me on this, whether you have five pounds, 10 pounds, or maybe even more 25 to 50 pounds and you're looking to actually you know, get a jump start on this transformation that you really need, uh, join me, join me guys. The official name for my fat loss program is gonna be the Six Pack Shredding Program. And I'm actually holding a workshop for this program starting Saturday, May 13th. I'll be in the UK at Body Power, but it's gonna be completely online and available to you starting Saturday, May 13th. Right now though, I recommend signing up for it so you'll be notified as soon as it's available. So click the link in the description box. It's basically just sixpackshredding.com. Go to the website, type in your email, and it's gonna notify you as soon as the workshop is ready. All right, so now we're about to watch sets uh, two, three, and four. Currently it's in 4X motion. And I'm gonna read my Instagram caption that I actually posted today. So you can check that out or just listen up. Uh, I'm comparing right here my bench of 2011 and the next clip will be my bench press of 2017. So same weight, this is 250 pounds. This was back when I was doing uh, Jim Wendler 531. This was cycle one week two, so 90% for three plus reps. And um, so compare this to the next clip that you're about to watch. My caption was this. Uh, here's some random value points that I just wanna kinda instill in you guys, or at least impart to you. How you lift is gonna change over time. It's gonna improve, get worse, get better, get faster, get slower, etc. over the course of your lifting career. Preferences, goals, injuries, and circumstances will change, and hopefully, you'll only lift smarter over time. Usually, you lift based on the injuries and issues you encounter. Don't automatically judge a person based on how they currently lift without knowing their past. The gains, okay, so next point. <laughs> the gains you currently have are mostly a product of the lifting that you did, past tense, and not because of how you may currently lift. I think we like to think that what we're doing now is the reason we look the way we do, but no, it's actually the accumulation of everything that you did in the past. So give your younger and maybe dumber self a little bit of credit. You were doing what you thought was best. Next point. 
Don't expect overnight results. Here I am, six years later, benching basically the same weight. Obviously a lot more controlled and chest focused. I actually have a couple more key points, but I'll put those after this next announcement. Okay guys, third update. As of Friday, April 28th, 7 a.m. Pacific time zone, that's 10 a.m. Eastern USA time zone, Gymshark is having a product launch, a men's product launch. So definitely look out for that, guys. So right here is the Form version 3 t-shirt. Incredible fit, I'm wearing a size large here. I, uh, I'm probably gonna request a medium, I normally wear size mediums. Next up is the Performance Polo, right here. And I'm actually wearing a size large, even though I wanted a medium, <laughs> and uh, I'll probably request a medium. This is a size large, but actually large fits great. Who knows, I'll probably just stick with this. All right guys, here we got on the uh, Phantom Seamless Tank Top from Gymshark. Um, they've been sending me tank tops since 2013. I have tons, dozens in my closet. It just showed my Snapchat. This is the best tank top of its kind that they have ever made. Highly recommend this one. It's freaking solid. I love the way it fits. Uh, the comfort is great. It's just, it's just a really good tank top. So, all right guys, so here we got the Phantom Seamless t-shirt. I like the white because it completely shows your abs if you if you have them. So, <laughs> what? <laughs> Why is she laughing? Completely shows your abs if you have them. <laughs> <laughs> you wild. <laughs> nah. No? Those angles make me look fucking weird. <laughs> what the fuck is this? What was that boy? What was this? <laughs> Trying to make me look like I'm a, like fucking in the <laughs> Hobbit world or something? Yeah, what is this, Lord like of the Rings? <laughs> fucking make me, make my dick look huge, make my chest look ginormous, do whatever the fuck it takes. What the fuck is this? Did you guys? Oh wow, it was filming, the camera's filming. So she's taking this picture of me, and like, using like, fucking, day one level marketing and tactics to get this angle of me, guys. And I'm like, what the fuck? Like, we're trying to fucking sell some gym shark like gear. <laughs> She's making me look like a fucking hobbit. <laughs> what the fuck? I know I'm like 5'7", but like, Jesus. <laughs> she made me look like a goddamn hobbit. <laughs> so guys, uh, this here is the, uh... <sighs> fucking, this is the Phantom. This is the Hobbit shirt. <laughs> this is the Hobbit shirt. No, this is the, uh, the Black Marl Medium, uh, why does the medium matter? This is the the <laughs> this is the Phantom T-shirt. Phantom. This is the Phantom Seamless T-shirt. Black marl. Fucking. It's a really nice texture. It's not like a, just a color. It's what they call a color way. It's just like it's multiple. It's pretty cool. All right, guys. Just so you believe me when I say this, that she makes me look like a she made me look like a hobbit. Let me get this out of the glare. This is the picture that she took of me. Like, no, it doesn't, like, what are these angles? What, what are these angles? Like, my legs look like they're fucking, <laughs> like, not to mention the table. Okay, guys, the table is set to the, oh, I'm sorry. The, look, the table is set to the ground. It literally makes me look smaller than a table. Because the table is at ground level for when, for like, when I have like my fucking chair there. Oh my God. <laughs> Alright guys, here we have the Phantom Seamless Long Sleeve in the uh, Sapphire color. I like that. Me too. Damn. Mm. What size is that? Did you read it for me? Medium. Alright guys, I'm wearing medium. So I really love white. One of the downfalls is it's just really easy to get dirty. So be extra careful with your whites. Ugh, but this is like my favorite one. This has to be my favorite one. Fuck! I love it! Damn, it makes your teeth look whiter or darker, depending on how, I don't know. <laughs> what? Yeah, it makes it look good. Damn, this white is sick! You could fucking walk in the gym and crush all the weights with this shit. Damn, this is dope. I know a lot of people assume that just because someone's like sponsored by a company or gets paid to wear their clothing that, you know, they automatically just like, oh, it's perfect, it's the best clothing ever. But a lot of the times when I put on a new Gymshark product like this, ugh, put it on, 
Like, I legit am like, holy shit. Damn. It's probably because, like, I don't buy any clothes whatsoever. I just get sent Gymshark and I just wear it. So, it's probably, it's probably one of the factors. Damn, that's good. So, continuing on, um, the bench form in 2011, it served me well for a long time. I didn't have any elbow, shoulder, or pec issues for like the first seven or eight years until 2014 when I slightly strained my pec. Sure, that form, you know, gave me less chest hypertrophy, but overall it helped keep me in the game for a long ass time. So credit is definitely due. Uh, with the control and tempo being obvious improvement, you know, I like my current bench form more as far as chest development, but... I have to be so much more careful and do hella other things to take care of myself because of it. Uh, so much of lifting and life is, you know, trade-offs and opportunity costs. Um, a simple uh, example is kind of like doing skull crushers to build up your, uh, to build up all kinds of tr uh, strength in your triceps, but they also destroy the f out of your elbows for most people. Uh, and lastly, though I lift solo most of the time, some of my favorite and best memories of lifting were with my workout partners over the years. Guys like Brandon, Beat Up, Mateo, Cody B, Nick, Bobby and Joe, Lovato, Adam, um, Father Fit, Gus, Isaac, even you know Megan, um, and more, and Brittany. Um, if you've never had a solid training partner, don't completely discount the concept. So kind of late to mention this, but those clips of the overhead press, I was specifically trying to keep my glutes really, really flexed the entire time because quite often you'll keep your glutes flexed and then immediately you'll unflex them and at the same time, basically uh, your lower back will flex and it almost, it's, it's like the OHP's leg drive, so to speak, for compared to bench press. Bench press, you got leg drive. OHP, you got like that quick unflexing of the glutes and the, uh, the curvature in the lower back that kind of boosts your, boosts the beginning of the overhead press. All right, guys, that is essentially it for this video. It's really late where I am at right now. Uh, it's it's 12:30, but for me that's really late, and I need to get to bed now. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video. And for everyone who's going to Body Power, I'm excited to see you. For everyone who wants to take part in my fat loss program or the six pack shredding workshop, I'm excited for you too. Click that link in the description box, sixpackshredding.com. And for all of those who Love buying Gymshark. I wish you a, uh, a speedy purchase because quite often, um, you know, things sometimes run out of stock. So, all right, y'all. I want to thank you guys, as always, for the continued support. Without you guys, I would not be where I am. So, I appreciate you, and I just want you guys to know that. Uh, as always, I'm posting all the time on Snapchat and Instagram. So, if you're not already following me on there, definitely make sure you do because usually once or twice a day I post something on Instagram that's usually full of uh, really good information. So, all right, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.